All right there, Latin one. Uh, this is what I love about Latin. If you take a look at line six. Cunctis Romanis cum Cunctis Albanis. Cunctis Romanis looks like the same case as Cunctis Albanis. If you're just glancing at them, you're like, oh, those are both ablatives, right? No. Cunctis Romanis is dative. Cunctis Albanis is ablative. And what I love about that is the whole idea is they're very much the same people, even though they're slightly different. These are spelled the exact same, but they're used slightly differently. I think that's helping reinforce the idea that despite the fact that they uh, come from a different place, they have many friends and relatives in both places. In fact, Alba Longa is where Ascanius, remember him? Uh, he settled that area because he didn't want to just live under his father's shadow after a while. So he settled that area, and then eventually, uh, after 20 generations, uh, Romulus and Remus do their thing. Uh, but it's uh, the Alban place has been around a lot longer. So the Romans just pop up, and then they start fighting with everybody because Tullus Hostilius wants to live up to his name. But Cuntis Romanis and Cuntis Albanis are the same looking, but they're different grammatically, okay? And what I really want to point out, though, is if you take a look at line seven. Nos inter nostros fratres habemus trigeminos nomine horatios. Vos quoque inter vestros fratres habetis trigeminos nomine curiatios. Now, did you notice that they're very much the same structure? Okay, nos, vos quoque, inter, inter, Vo, nostros, vestros, fratres, fratres, habetis, habemus, trigeminos, trigeminos, nomine, nomine, curiatios, horatios. It's almost like they're almost exactly the same, but slightly different. Now it gets even more fun. The word inter means among. So what I did was I drew lines. So the word nos, nostros, habemus, nomine. We have uh, among ours named something, right? Y'all also, y'alls, uh, y'all have something named, right? Now what is among? Also the word between. So what words are among all these things? Triplet brothers, name the Horatio, Horati. Triplet brothers, name the Creati. So we have amongst our soldiers, uh, I might have left out the word soldiers. Uh, yeah, nos inter milites, uh, nostros. Um, so we have amongst our soldiers, um, and literally amongst the words, you have the triplet brothers. And y'all have, amongst yours, triplet brothers. The words are actually among the words. And what's really fun is, even though I left it out here, if you take a look at line seven, the word milites is there. We have amongst our soldiers triplet brothers. Y'all have amongst yours, but look at what's missing. You don't have soldiers. You have just amongst yours. It's just a lightweight way of shading them a little bit and saying, hey, we have soldiers. I don't know what you have. Uh, what I love about that is the words are actually doing what the words are saying. We have amongst our soldiers. So the words for we have our soldiers, among those soldiers are the words for triplet brothers, which is exactly what that means. And the same thing's true the other way. Now, I also want you to see uh, lines 19 and 20. Okay, uh, so uh, hoc modo omnes tres curiatios necat. You don't get your subject until the very, very end. And he is literally the last thing standing. And he is the last thing at the end of the sentence. He's the only one at the end of the sentence because he's killed the others. Horatius Unus. Okay. Uh, also, there's a bit of mystery as to what he's doing there. Okay, so you, you have him going toward the end of what's going on. Uh, the original writer of this, uh, this story is uh, clearly patterned after a guy named Livy. And Livy uh, is my favorite Roman historian. He's a terrible historian. But he wrote so well um, because he didn't understand battles. So he, uh, he absolutely made the words all jumbly and messy because that's what the battle kind of looked like. So anyway... Uh, that is that story, uh, and I, I just wanted to go over that, and I'm hoping that it, it, it was interesting to you. Uh, if not, you know, I'll see you next year anyway. Uh, so that is that for review three. The next chapter we have is chapter 18, and we're going to learn a new tense. So come at it when you are uh, ready to, to really dive in deep on something. All right? I'm going to hit the button.